Here's a Fox Cities viewpoint on News Talk 1150 WHBY. Last month, I spoke about chip cards, also known as EMV or smart cards. Since there is a lot of information to cover on this topic, I thought I would turn this into a short series. Conversion to EMV will be a slow process. A 2014 report stated that only 2% of U.S. cards in circulation were EMV, but by 2018, it will jump to 96%. This is why all EMV cards will also carry the magnetic strip. In order for security to improve, an EMV card must be used with an EMV-enabled terminal. Retailers and financial institutions are motivated by a liability shift that will occur this October. At this time, liability for fraud will shift from the issuer to the least secure entity. If a cardholder uses an EMV card but the merchant still uses a mag strip reader, the merchant would be the least secure entity and would be liable for any fraud. The opposite will also hold true. I'm Sheila Shinky, CEO of Prosper Credit Union, and that's a Fox Cities Viewpoint. Fox Cities Viewpoint can be heard three times daily on the voice of the Fox Cities, 1150 WHBY, and online in the audio vault at whby.com. Differing viewpoints are welcome.